this is a, a forehand presentation, so I will uh, uh, introduce some definition and some context uh, of the work we are doing in the context of the SAGE uh, project. Then Carla will uh, drive you through uh, some uh, pre-recorded and live uh, uh, interaction with the open access repository. And then I'll come back uh, on the last point that we think is very important uh, and is about uh, uh, giving authorship to of research products. So, part one, um, some concepts and definitions. So usually uh, open access repositories are powered by what we call digital asset management systems that are very complicated combination of uh, software databases to uh, um, ingestion, annotation, cataloging, storage, retrieval, and distribution of digital assets. Antonio already talked about what a digital asset is. It looks like there is a, a more precise definition. Digital asset, in essence, is anything that exists in a binary format and comes with a right of use. Uh, and digital assets, uh, uh, Antonio already uh, showed this, include many different things. So photography, logos, illustrations, animations, or the visual media, presentations, spreadsheets, words, and PDF documents, data. That is uh, one of the important items we want to tackle in this Hackfest. Uh, when you look for dances, there is a lot of possible choices. These are the most common uh, dances. There are other more social or business oriented that you can find in the uh, link at the bottom of the presentation. Um, in SciGaia, we have a task on uh, uh, creation of federated and interoperable open access document and data repositories in Africa, uh, compliant with uh, European and other international guidelines. So on uh, one of the uh, activities of this task is to create the promote, the promote the creation of uh, open access repositories based on standards. So um, we had some stringent requirements. We wanted something open source, <coughs> distributed under a free license. Uh, free, um, it would be more correct, say, open license. Uh, deployable on a local infrastructure, so not an, host uh, an, host uh, an hosted service. Some of the demos I showed before are hosted. Standard compliant, well supported, and scalable. The choice was Imenia, uh, the latest stable version plus a series of add-ons that we uh, added to Imenia. The motivations were, diff were, were, were manifold, uh, fully compliant with uh, all most important library standards, Dublin Core, Mark 21, OAI, PMH. is developed at CERN with, uh, uh, co-developed with many other laboratories in the, in the world. And there are uh, um, very important repositories like Inspire for energy physics, Scope 3 for published energy physics papers, and Zenodo, that is the flagship archive of open air that are based on Imenia. So uh, we are building on a technology that is actually used, widely used. Concerning scalability, the CERN document server uh, operates since almost 15 years and currently manages more than 1.3 million documents. So it's the right scale we, we wanted to have at the beginning. And it looks like UNESCO and the um, UMLE, so MOA, an association of West African countries, have a project to deploy virtual libraries based on Imenio in different countries, and the countries are listed there. So uh, I think that uh, the, uh, it was a, a very good choice. So that's Imenio, that's uh, um, Imenio schemed uh, for uh, Saigeia. Uh, important thing, we enabled federated access. So using the same credentials you got yesterday to access the forum, this course. If you go to that URL, you, are, you, 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 you can log in and you can start uploading your research products. Um, the resources can be manually uploaded. Um, Carla will show you an example. Or can be automatically harvested and ingested for external sources. The problem is that uh, with G-Library, you have seen something to easily work with distributed database. But now the problem is that, uh, I that we have a problem of visibility of research products. So uh, we can automatically harvest 
product form invisible databases and make them visible through Imenio. Uh, more than visible, because you will see later, we assign digital object identifiers to each of the records of the repository. So you can even assemble different resources in what we call research packages. What we have added to Imenio is the possibility to mint the data site digital object identifiers and assign okay. them to the records. Direct link to the alt matrix. So if you publish records, if you publish research products on Imenio, you can cite on social networks and they will be acknowledged automatically, more quickly than normal citations. And we adjusted the, the correct metadata, the Dublin Core metadata, so that the OAI PMH end, uh, endpoint publishes data uh, that are compliant with the version 3.0 of the open air guidelines. So all the uh, open access repositories built within Benio could eventually become official open air um, uh, repositories. We are uh, uh, still uh, about compliance uh, with standards. The repository is fully conforming with OAI standards, and we are one of the one of, one of the records of the OAI list of repositories. And we are also complied with Open Door, which is a worldwide initiative on open access data repositories. And our repository is one of the data providers of Open Door. But uh, um, what uh, we want to do with uh, uh, open, the open access repository is to enable the knowledge workflow. You may remember from my yesterday's presentation, we want to connect open access repositories to science gateways so that you can browse if you find a uh, document and the document has all the elements, data, workflows, software, even container or virtual machine, you can automatically be redirected to the open to the science gateway and uh, rerun your application or the, I mean, the data and the, the publish in a given paper and uh, reuse them for further analysis. This has been done, has been demonstrated and uh, uh, we can provide you examples uh, on the science gateway for those interested in developing science gateways. Uh, I've been talking about DOIs. DOIs, so each record has a DOI, and the records can be combined together in what we call um, research packages. So you can see here, this is an analysis. This is not the first one. It's a, a fake object. It's not linked to any uh, paper, but it's just an analysis. So if you click on this, you, can, you are automatically redirected to the science gateway where this analysis with those data and using that virtual machine can be redone. The same for uh, um, another um, uh, infection model based on repast is an agent-based analysis. You have the research packages, research package containing everything you need to rerun the analysis. So you have the virtual machine, you have the graphic visualization tools, and you have all the data. So all the DOIs can be assembled in a research product. And a research product is all you need to reproduce that particular result. And so we also have a completely different thing. These are the 3D CAD files to print uh, parts of a uh, uh, weather station with the 3D printers. Uh, there is a project aiming at uh, deploying uh, weather stations in Tanzania, Kenya, and Uganda. They are building 3D, printer, 3D printable models, and so we have uh, uh, a research package containing all you need to uh, uh, 3D print these uh, weather stations. Uh, the OAR itself is a research package. Uh, this was uh, just a demonstrative open access repository, but uh, you have uh, the guidelines, you have the instructions and you have the virtual appliance. So if you go to this record, you have the virtual appliance containing a clone of this open access repository. And actually, there are uh, six clones being deployed in Africa and in Europe. So you can go to the, to the, to the open access repository, download the virtual machine, download the guidelines, download the instructions, and you can create a clone. So you can just, you, you can easily, 
uh, use in many your documentation to configure it. You attach your DOI uh, sub-prefix and you are done. So whatever is possible with this demonstrative uh, repository, you can do with your own. So that's the idea. So um, I think I, I'm teasing you enough, and I will give, you, I'll give the floor to Carla, who will show you how to actually interact with the open access repository. Keep in mind that all the interactions Carla will do with our repository, you will be able to do with your own clone if you install at your premises.